Hey everybody, real quick, um, it's Transparent Tuesday. I just wanted to come on really quick before I hit the sack and just give a little nuggets of um, what my Transparent Tuesday was like. Um, one of the biggest things you can see is um, actually shooting from, you know, comfortable in bed, actually before I even actually go to sleep. So that's part of the transparency today. But some of them just realize that throughout this journey right now, guys, is just that how much of a actual challenge it is you know i posted earlier today how i wanted a cupcake <laughs> you know but instead i ate yogurt you know i just had a birthday um last week so celebrated with that and it's just realizing that it's actually um as you hear something in the background i actually listen to my periscope i got um carl ken going she's actually good real good you guys so go check her out she's on youtube as well um, and on Periscope, which I'm on, which is at, you can follow me there at God's Glam Girl underscore 13. But real quick, like I was saying, just wanted to come on real quick and just give a little nugget on how this transparency, on how, trans, just share some transparencies and some things that I've been feeling. You know, it's been about three weeks now. Um, I did start by exercising, you guys, so that's been really good. I was able to incorporate and look at my schedule, really sit down and look at some stuff, and just commit to a starting point, which is I started with, now I committed to twice a week on Mondays and Tuesdays. So if y'all hear me out there, you know, feel free to shoot me up, send me a message, like, hey, did you exercise today? You know, accountability is always about, so definitely, you know, and just, so it's been about three weeks, I think today made the, um, Second or third week, I'm not sure I have to go back and look. That I've been doing it consistently. So, praise God for that. You know, y'all keep me in your prayers because that is a challenge with having, you know, a newborn and then this stuff. But just making it work and not not making excuses. You either can make stuff work or make excuses, but you're not going to do both. So, I'm just finding those ways to overcome, you know, and realize that my lifestyle that I've been given and what I have right now. You know, like I said, I'm a mother of four. One of them is a newborn. So, I have to just remember that my life is what it is. So excuse my hair too, you know, it's another transparency I'm showing y'all. I didn't get cute today before I came on. This is my workout here. And I'm gonna do something with it. So spare, you know, bear with me for a little while until I do that. So, you know, I just wanted to share that and some of the things that, you know, I've been going through with realizing how you gotta put in work for this to happen, for this to work. You gotta put in work for this to actually happen and for this to Go the way you want it to go. You know, it's not going to come easy. You're going to have to make those choices, those decisions that may not always be the best. I mean, it may not be the easiest, I should say. You know, you're going to have to go against the grain at times. And like I talked about, you know, <clears throat> the other week, you're going to have to strategize. Some of that strategy may be, you know, pre-packing some snacks. I know I was going to be leaving out earlier today. So what I started, what I did was I packed me, um, some healthier snacks to take with me so that I wouldn't be tempted to stop at McDonald's or something or get a bag of chips while I was out. So, you know, just realizing that, but even though I may want <laughs> that, you know, chip or those cupcakes or whatever it is, you got to think about the long-term goal. You know, with this old saying, they say forever, a moment on the lips, forever on the hips. So I'm keeping it in mind. You know, keeping an ultimate goal in mind, realize that that is about today or what I consume today, but it's about the long term goal of what I actually want to pursue and what I'm aiming towards. So I keep that target in mind, remembering what it is that I want to happen, and that's what's been kind of helping me from stirring from going too far, of course. And you're going to have big days, you know, like I was one thing I found out is that it's actually good to have a pre scheduled. I guess we should call it cheat day. For me, it's somewhat been like Saturday so far. Why? But even with that, not going overboard. You know, um, I've actually found out about that I've been using. I'm gonna share is um my fitness pal. So that actually is the app where it helps you to track, which you on a daily basis, so that you can, you know, know what you're doing. You can even go back to see, and even if you did have a bad day. See what you can do better the next day on going forward to not make those same mistakes. So, you know, this is it right here. My fitness pal. See that? So 
So if you're on here, that's my name. It's Try Willie. It's my username, you know. You can find me and friend me and I accept your request. And again, that's a that's a added accountability too. I haven't finished logging for today, so that's why you see so many calories up there. So um and that's useful and it's actually been able been able very helpful as well. Actually, so it shows me what I haven't and haven't been doing, where I could do better, where I kind of should have probably made a better decision, where I could scale back, and even realizing um, how much calories certain things have. I didn't realize had that many calories in it. You know, and or even not even just calories. It also now the app has been improved where it shows you also um, like the um, fat content, sodium content, stuff like that. So it's helpful all across the board. So, like I said, it's realizing that it's going to take work, and it's taking work. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be, it is worth it. And just even so far in the two weeks that I have been consistent with starting back with the exercise, this is how it's already starting to make a difference in just even how I feel. And you feel good that you made a decision to do something and you've been sticking to it. Follow through is definitely a positive. Not for anybody else, but more so for yourself. So, definitely wanted to share that with you guys. Just come on. You know, I know I didn't come on yesterday. So, please forgive me with my office Monday. Um, it's life. So, forgive me. Let me get a minute sometimes. So, I wanted to come on today. If it wasn't just for a long time, and just share something. So, um, again, feel free. To let me know any suggestions you may have, comments, or how your journey is going. So, again, it's our, you know... My journey, your journey, our journey. So, all right, you guys. So, that's all I just wanted to come on real quick and just share the tidbits. Um, again, don't forget, you know, connect with me on Instagram at myjourneyback underscore 2016. Um, also, I'm on Periscope at girl underscore 13. Don't forget, you can email me any business inquiries or questions. I am a certified life coach at MJB Trichelle at gmail.com and all the things will be in the oh, I'm also on, on Facebook at um, Facebook www.facebook.com my journey back dot Florence so I'll leave all things in the description box so you definitely can you know follow me connect with me on those things and don't forget join the journey subscribe subscribe so you can join the journey weekly and it's gonna be our journey so thanks everybody. Ta-ta.